If you're anything like me, then you probably have hundreds, if not thousands of hours in VS Code. Back when I was getting started, I made a ton of beginner mistakes, like neglecting extensions and sticking with the default light theme for way too long, which is arguably a bigger offense than coding in Java. And I wish that someone would have come along and set me on the right path from the very beginning. So without further ado, here are seven VS Code extensions that I use to make my life a little easier. All of these extensions will be general quality of life improvements, as in they don't pertain to a specific language. Well, besides the last one, but stay tuned for that one. First, we have what I believe is the absolute best theme for VS Code, which is the Night Owl extension combined with the Material File Icons extension. Now, I know that these are two different downloads, but since both are related to the theme, I thought I'd group them together. The reason why I like this theme combination, aside from the aesthetic appeal, is because it improves the readability of my projects. For reference, brace yourselves as this is what the default theme for VS Code looks like. The lack of file icons makes you want to delete the explore tab and the brightness I'm sure would cause blindness after staring at it for 40 hours a week, 52 weeks a year. And this is what it looks like with the Night Owl theme and the material icons extension. It makes it much easier to read my code. I can actually stare at my screen and the explore tab looks amazing. Now, of course, there are thousands of different themes out there and any combination of the dark theme plus file icons will do just fine. So if you have one that you really love, leave it down in the comments so that the rest of us can check it out. Moving on, we have an extension that I use to keep my form formatting and styling consistent without much effort. The extension is called Prettier. It has over 43 million downloads. Now, most teams that I have been a part of use this extension to stay consistent across multiple different environments. It supports JavaScript, TypeScript, JSON, CSS, and much, much more. Prettier resolves formatting issues by parsing your code and reprinting your code with its own rules that take the maximum line length into account, wrapping code whenever necessary. Any extension that makes my code easier to read and understand without effort on my end is a must have. This extension can even make spaghetti code look appetizing. And as a beginner, that counts for something. Next, we have an extension that keeps your VS code settings like the theme we set up earlier, file icons, and key bindings synced across different machines. Now for this one, you will need a GitHub account, which I'm assuming you probably already have one if you're watching this channel, as the extension uses GitHub to provide the service. The extension is called setting sync, and it's especially useful for people like me who code on both a laptop when I want to get away from the house and a PC. This way I can keep everything synced and I don't have to double down my efforts whenever I make a change on one machine as a change is automatically applied without me having to step in. The updates are applied automatically when the computer boots up, so it's another one of those low effort, high reward extensions. Now, our next extension is a game changer when it comes to optimizing my screen space and coding efficiency. The extension is called Live Server. It displays the result of my code directly on a web browser without having to constantly reload the page. This is another one of those extensions where there really is no reason not to use it. It's easier to start and to stop the live server using the status bar. I can also customize the server root default browser and the port number and it also support hotkeys which makes my workflow much much more efficient the main upside to this one is that it streamlines my development process by eliminating the need for manual page reloads now our next extension can be used to download code snippets as png and jpeg images the extension is called polar code and it's one of the best ways i have found for sharing my code on other forums like reddit or even when making these youtube videos whenever you take a png or jpeg with polar code it keeps your themes and fonts which often catches the attention of people when they view your posts, driving both engagement and retention. If you're someone that shares your code a lot, whether to ask for help or to provide guidance, this extension is a must. Next up is one that is not new for modern developers. This extension allows me to build, test, and deploy my applications quicker by allowing me to create manage and debug containerized applications within the VS Code Editor. If you don't already know of which extension I'm talking about, it is the Docker extension. It has been around since 2013 and it is still one of the most popular extensions on the platform with over 17 million downloads. If you're interested in learning how to build your own version of Docker, as well as other really popular applications like Redis and BitTorrent, then I recommend checking out the Code Crafters Build Your Own X repository on GitHub. It is one of the most popular GitHub repositories out there with over a quarter million favorites and they are offering viewers of this channel 40% off their coding projects that you can add to your resume if you use the link down in the description below. Now our last extension, like I mentioned in the very beginning of the video, is actually one that is specifically useful for JavaScript and TypeScript. It is useful for speeding up the prototyping process by immediately displaying the results, inline console logs, expression values, and error messages as I modify my code. The extension is called Quoqua.js. If you are a solo dev like me, then you know that speed and efficiency is 
everything. And as a result, Coca has become an essential part of prototyping and testing my code. I've made it this far into the video. Thank you so much for watching. And if your favorite VS Code extension didn't make it on the list, leave it down in the comments below so the rest of us can check it out. And I'll see you in the next one.